So if I asked you, what is your weight, how would you answer? You might step on a scale first and tell me you weigh 120 pounds, or in standard physics units, that's 54 kilograms. Most people asking that question would be completely happy with that answer. But your physics teacher? Yeah, no, not so much. Welcome to Flip Physics. Today we're going to talk about the difference between weight and mass. Most people in our society kind of think of them as pretty much the same thing, but these are physics terms and in physics they're quite different. So weight, as much as we like to think so, weight isn't really measured in pounds or kilograms. Weight is a force. Weight is the force of gravity pulling you down. So because it's a force, it's measured in newtons. In fact, your bathroom scale, if it was really measuring weight, shouldn't have kilograms or pounds on it at all. If it was really measuring your weight, it would read newtons. When we drew free body force diagrams, we mark gravity as Fg. But you could label it differently. Some people put W for weight. Or you could also put Mg, but I'll explain why later. So that's weight, but then what is mass? Well, mass is the amount of stuff inside an object. If you add more stuff to your body, say by eating a chocolate bar. Um, that's good chocolate. Mm. Um, where was I? Oh, if you eat a chocolate bar, you are adding to your mass. But isn't that the same thing? If you add more stuff, aren't you also increasing your weight? If you add more stuff, you get heavier, so doesn't gravity pull on you more? That's true, but the difference between mass and weight is still important, and here's why. Let's say you weigh 54 kilograms, and then you go to the moon. What is your mass, and what is your weight there? Well, you have just as much stuff inside you as when you left, so your mass is exactly the same. You're still 54 kilograms. But gravity is much weaker on the moon. The moon doesn't pull you down the way Earth did. So your weight, the number of newtons pulling you down, is going to be a lot less. So to summarize, weight is just the force of gravity pulling you down, and we measure it in newtons. It changes depending on what planet you're on, or even slightly depending on where exactly on Earth you are. Mass, on the other hand, is a measure of how much stuff there is inside you, we measure it in kilograms. That doesn't change. You can go anywhere in the universe and you'll have the same amount of stuff. We could use pounds, but kilograms is just what we use in physics. It makes calculations a little bit easier. So a bathroom scale that has kilograms on it measures your mass, but it only works on Earth. If you take your bathroom scale to the moon with you, it will read as if you've lost some mass. Which is not true. Your mass never changed. It's just that the scale isn't calibrated for the moon. It's calibrated to accurately measure your mass if it's used on Earth. If, on the other hand, we change the scale to newtons, then it would work everywhere. Because that would just be telling you your weight, which does vary depending on what planet you're on. Confused? Probably. I suggest if you're not 100% clear on these topics, you watch one of these videos to kind of reinforce it. If you hear it from a few different people, it might be easier to understand. So how does all of this look mathematically? The force of gravity, sometimes written in algebra like this, is equal to mg, where m is the mass of the object in kilograms, and g is the acceleration due to gravity, which is negative 9.8 on Earth. We use that in 1D motion and in 2D motion. So if you weigh 55 kilograms, then the force of gravity acting on you is 55 multiplied by 9.8, which is approximately, if we just multiply by 10, approximately 550 newtons. But then if you go to the moon, that changes. The acceleration due to gravity, g, on the moon is just 1.6. So to calculate the force of gravity that will pull you down there, you would take your mass of 55 and this time multiply it by 1.6. And that will give you just 88 newtons. Your mass is always 55 kilograms. Unless you become addicted to chocolate like I am. Mm. Sweet, sweet chocolatey goodness. But your weight, your force of gravity, does change. So that's also why some people mark the force of gravity as mg on free body force diagrams. That just means the same thing. fg is equal to mg, so they just put mg straight on the diagram. To finish, I'd like you to watch this video from Veritasium. There he talks about the difference between mass and weight in terms of Newton's first law. It kind of overlaps the topics a little bit. Try not to get confused. The law of inertia is just another way of saying Newton's first law. An object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. Its mass, its inertia, is what enables that to happen. A moving object wants to keep going. 
Like I said, click here to see that video. So now that you've watched that video, I want you to answer this question in the comments. How did he explain the difference between mass and weight? How is that different to the way I explained it? They say it's always good to end on a song, so how about this one? Thanks for watching Flip Physics. I hope you're enjoying our sonic speed dash through the world of physics. But don't go too fast. Don't forget to leave your questions, thoughts, and suggestions in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe and press the like button. Until next time, keep questioning.